Hey guys, welcome back to Daniel's Tech World here on YouTube. This is Daniel Rosal and for this video today I wanted to give folks a quick look at uh, Reaper on Ubuntu. There are videos out there on YouTube about how to get Reaper installed on Ubuntu and giving kind of big tours and I thought I'd just kind of show the very very top level stuff like kind of how it looks which I think should be how it looks on other platforms. I think, I mean, that's the ideal when um, software companies support Linux that the functionality is going to be mirrored. Um, I've been using Audacity on Ubuntu for many years, but I was recently convinced to change to uh, Reaper by my friend uh, Ben Wallach of Ben Wallach Audio Services, who is an incredible um, musician and audio engineer and his passion for music is just infectious. So Ben told me that I'd be much better off using Reaper over Audacity and it is like going from driving a Volkswagen to a Ferrari. It's a big step up in power and functionality and you can just tell it's a much more mature product. So um, it's $60 for the license. Uh, so after downloading this, the installation was pretty easy. Just open, run a script um, and then you feed it in your license key and uh, it's $60 if you're using it for personal small business use. So I just recorded an audio sample here. I'm just gonna play it, a bit of it back. I'm recording a sample voiceover into Reaper on Ubuntu Linux. And as you can see, Reaper works pretty nicely out of the box. So that's just kind of a little bit now. The first thing a lot of people want to do is add some effects onto the track. So you can just click on the FX tab here and um, you can go. So if I just type an EQ, so I was just kind of, you know, worried, I guess, that maybe not all of the uh, VST plugins would be available on Ubuntu. And there are like way, 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 way more uh, plugins that I'm ever going to use or need. So I just went for the really basic one. It's called Real EQ uh, Kokos. Uh, Kokos is the company that make this software. And so this should look like if you're, if you're familiar with using Reaper. To Reaper on Ubuntu Linux. And as you can see, Reaper works pretty nicely. So I'm actually gonna just try to do a little bit of EQing on this audio uh, in real time. I'm gonna do sort of attempt to do a little bit of a low pass filter. Give it a bit of brightness. I usually pull down the this one here to try to get rid of my kind of more nasally aspect of my voice. And I do a little bit of boosting to here. Reaper on Ubuntu Linux. And as you can see, Reaper works pretty nicely out of the box on this platform running Reaper V6.79. So as I move these, you should be able to six, uh, hear the difference. And that's the a, a license for personal or small business. EQ you plug in. I'm just going to show a couple of really common ones, the kind of top ones people would reach for out of the box for a lot of stuff. I'm going to throw on a compressor. And um, just as in other platforms, you can just undo so I can play back the audio. dollars for a just uh, license for personal or small business use. And relative to editing and audio in Audacity, I think this is a much more powerful digital audio. And then for the compression, I'm just going to do license a license for personal or small business use. And relative to editing Audio in Audacity, I think this is a much more powerful no compressor. digital audio workstation or DAW. Compressor. And the final thing that I've been using at Ben's advice to get a really basic uh, audio chain is doing also uh, adding a limiter there as well instead of just equalizing the whole thing. So I use the Kokos VST Real Limit, uh, Real Limit plugin. Over into Reaper on Ubuntu Linux. And as you, and you can, can just play around uh, with these as well. Another really common thing that you might want to do is after putting on um, your various effects, uh, you might want to save this, uh, save the FX chains. You can do this in Linux as well. It's all integrated with the file system on the computer. So if I really like the kind of sound of the EQing and the compression, and I don't want to go back and do this every time, I can just save the FX chain and I can save it as like, I don't know, YouTube voiceover one, let's say, and save that. And then when I'm doing my next voiceover, um, it's going to save me quite a bit of time. So that's kind of the very, very whistle stop tour of the kind of top level features. Um, it works out of the box, works really well. Installation was super easy. You just download the installer, run a script and it's on your computer. And I'm using LXDE and uh, which is kind of a bit of an old desktop environment on my Ubuntu, but it still, as you can see, integrates nicely with the uh, file system. It created a little menu entry for itself there under sound and video. So thank you, Ben, for recommending Reaper. It is truly awesome. And uh, the final thing uh, you wanna do generally is uh, render out your audio. And again, you can sort of quickly bookmark uh, folders. So I have a uh, voiceover folder. I'm just gonna finish off. I'm gonna say test VO. And I love the way it uh, does this. 
and you can see that was like super quick it's finished and you can if you've got a bit of a longer audio sample you can see it running in real time and it looks super cool. Uh, so thanks guys for watching. Hope this was interesting. If you're looking at taking the leap from Audacity to Reaper for $60, I think it's a super solid um, investment. And for me personally, this feels like a big step up uh, from Audacity in terms of really getting uh, better sound quality on the voiceovers I'm doing for my work on YouTube.